Hi, Carrie and Dan. Well, here in Utah County, the number of teens bringing vaping devices to school is on the rise. Marketers are getting very clever on ways to conceal these type of devices, and that's why health leaders are really making a push out there. They want to let administrators as well as parents know exactly what is on the market. One in ten teens in Utah vape regularly, but that number is expected to go up. For example, in the Alpine School District, the number of cases involving vaping devices shot up from 12 to 120 in 2016 to 2017. The most popular vape device is Juul. It's designed to look like a flash drive. There are other devices out there as well that look like mascara tubes or lipstick tubes. There are ways of concealing as well, though. Um, we've caught... We've had administrators share with us mods that have exploded on Utah County school property. Some of the administrators have collected e-liquid from the students, which is really concerning because the e-liquid bottle um, is something that you can add as much as you want into something, so you're exposed to even more nicotine than you might expect. Now, the Surgeon General encourages anyone under the age of 25 not to vape, and that's because they believe that nicotine exposure can impact learning and memory of a developing brain. Health leaders are especially concerned because they say it can lead to addictive behaviors. Live in Provo, Tamara Vifanua, Fox 13 News, Utah.